Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So because we've had some lovely days with very summery temperatures here in Denmark, I've been inspired to pin a lot of summer inspiration on my Pinterest for my summer capsule that I'll be building at the end of May, of course depending on the weather. I can already now say that I'm super inspired by a natural color palette mixed with monochromes and denim. And speaking of denim, I've been on the hunt for a proper denim skirt since last summer because the old one I have has just become too big and it's just not doing it for me. So it hit me that it's super simple to make your own denim skirt from a pair of old jeans. And therefore I went straight to my storage of clothing from previous seasons to see if I had a pair of jeans laying around that could be a great candidate for such a project. The important thing is just that the jeans fit you in the waist and that they are in a wash that you like. So whether you already have a pair of jeans laying around or you want to find some in a thrift store is up to you. Either way works great. So you're going to start by measuring the length of the skirt and just be careful not to make it too short. You can always cut more of the length later if you want. I just used another skirt I have already to measure the length I wanted. And I wanted the hemline to be left raw so I didn't measure extra fabric to fold up or anything. I just cut it right off in the length that I wanted. Next step is to cut open the crotch as I'm showing you right here and just make sure you cut as close to the edge as possible. Then what you want to do is cut open the crotch a little further just below the zipper and only a couple of centimeters and just enough to make the fold over look nice and smooth and kind of fall natural back into place. And then repeat that step on the back as well. Back to the front, I chose to cut away some of the bulk fabric inside the corner of the crutch, just because I'm gonna be making a new stitch right there, so it just makes it easier to sew, but also make the final look more smooth. Next up, I'm gonna grab some thread in a similar color to the one that's already on the jeans, and then it's time to start sewing. If you don't have a sewing machine, I bet you could do this by hand. It would, of course, just take a little longer to do. I've even seen some people do this with textile glue, but I'm not sure how well that lasts in washing and things like that. Right, now on to the sewing part. I'm starting with the front and actually I'm just sewing in the existing stitches to close that fold over part that we just made.
Then I'm grabbing one of the jeans legs that I've cut off the jeans and then I'm gonna cut a small piece of fabric and place that in the slit that we created in the front. Then I'm gonna pin it and then I'm gonna sew that onto the skirt, again just sewing along the existing stitches. After that I'm cutting away the excess fabric at the inside of the skirt and then lastly cutting the piece so that it has the same length as the skirt. For the back part I actually just closed up that very little slit that was left there. Don't worry too much about raw edges and things like that because the point is to make a more rugged looking kind of denim skirt so raw edges and frays are totally fine. Now what you could do to make the edge look more authentically frayed is to pop it into the washing machine if you already have some clothes that you need to wash. You could also, like I did, make the hemline wet and then put it into the dryer. I had just washed some bedding so I was gonna start it anyway. Either way works magic, making the hemline look more frayed, but of course it will come naturally too through normal wear. That's it guys, now I have a cool denim skirt for my summer capsule and I can't wait to style it. I really hope you liked this guide, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys!